They liberated the dungeon at Cyric, and Cassia's camp grew. After the skirmish, Faramud went out to read the will of Kor in the dried blood of his enemies. He stayed for a full hour, and what he saw filled him with confidence. Why did your clan cast you out? Why don't you concern yourself with your own problems? No, no. No, no, calm. I am calm as incarnate. Very calm. I'm curious. A hoard of gold, and in so little time. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn the knife in the wound, why don't you? Difficult to achieve with honest trade. Look, trade secrets are trade secrets. Niobe's Dreamweed Empire probably made a lot of money for you. Perhaps more than Niobe would have liked. Or maybe this honest dwarf made some clever investments. Do you ever feel hatred for your master? For you, mistress? Yes. Don't you long to be free? No. Goals, plans, it's all too tiring. Being a slave is relaxing. Why Niobe? Why not do business with someone else? A legendary beauty that grows the best dreamweed in the south? How could I have stayed away? What are you doing? Catching flies. It's a trick. Grasp them from the front and they'll fly straight into your hand. Spiders have their own ways of dealing with flies. We lure them into webs and poison them. How did Kor choose you? We don't talk about that. Very well. Then why do you think he chose you? We do not ask that question. Thinking about it drives you mad. Yes. Yes, that's true. Why do I want to rule? Why? I don't know. I just don't know. A good ruler should know everything. But this... I do not know. The noble savage let his gaze sweep over the land. The pipe ruins the picture somewhat. Uh, what do you want? Do you know how to make shrunken heads? Yes. Good. Why are you so eager to die, Takate? They say death cannot be beaten. I want to see if he lives up to his reputation. I promise you. One year from now, there will be a statue of Kamaluk's son in every town. Good. Little happened on the fringes of the Emirate. No one cared about Cassia's band of outcasts. Just another mob from the swamps. Another mosquito about to bite. Starting this day, precious metals would be carted to Hero's Hedge and from Hero's Hedge to Cassia's encampment. Oh, if only I could eat in peace for once. Honestly, do you think we will win? I think it's highly improbable. But it was also improbable that we would beat the Nine Hordes. Improbability is my business. Ah, fuck it. That's my motto. I've been wondering about this for quite some time. Why Marwan of all men? Your marriage, I mean. Marwan wanted me, and he had enough money to secure me. Marriage is a breeding ground for betrayal. I'll abolish it. I had expected more from the son of a god. He's a forest man. What do you expect? There's probably a small, friendly heart beating inside his gladiator's chest. Just make sure he doesn't grow too much. The visions core sends to you. Not visions. Signs. From time to time, when a mighty blow fells an enemy, core will paint a red sign on the ground. And how do you know what core is trying to tell you? I am the manticore. So you have no choice. You only follow the blood. No one ever has a choice. We do what we do, like the sand running through an hourglass. What sense does that make? I don't know, Sahiba. I simply follow. You're not like the other mercenaries. Why do you follow the god of battle, Faramud? Who would you follow if gods and demons were calling you to the last battle? You're right. Kor is the only option. Why were you banished? Those who long for the good in the world always have enemies. I understand. You're paladins of light. Yes, but our handicraft is gruesome. The last emir didn't have the stomach for it. But I know your stomach is stronger. 
Trees don't need a reason to grow. Flies don't need a reason to fly. So why do I need a reason to rule? Why me? How does it feel to be a god? Like a velvety breath from the flowers of the sneaking death. The first day, you are free as a bird. But then, it weighs you down. I hope you know I'm of no use but for killing. That is all I have learned. That's why you're here. Speed was Cassia's weapon. She must be swift and strike like lightning. Her small band marched through the night. At sunrise, they looked down on the pale roofs of Lorphus. The morning sun will blind our enemies. You attack the city, and I'll free my men. Then we'll use a pincer movement like two reptiles. Change of plans. One of my gladiators will go in your stead. You don't trust me? Someone has to guard our backs, and you're the only one I trust. While the mercenaries freed their companions, Cassia and the rest fell on the city. Cassia's mask gleamed in the morning sun. Cowering in their homes, the people made signs to ward off evil spirits. After plundering the city, Cassia had the governor beheaded and sent his head to Marwan. Everyone would know that Cassia Corapia had challenged her husband and that she would annihilate anyone who would stand in her way. The shrunken head fits our Simon well. I bet it's exactly the right size for his brain. Do you remember, Haseki, how I once said I don't like to be disappointed? Why isn't she dead? I was assured she'd be dead. A mistake, your eminence. Yes, a mistake. Or fate. It's amazing you can still recognize him. My stupid cousin never really loved him. Is it inhumane to say that? You are the first, Kyrios. You alone decide on humane or inhumane. Now that's a burden. Do you want to send out the cohorts? And ruin my show of arms? Are my governors not capable of dealing with my insane wife? No, I've got a better idea. We've captured two carriages, Sahiba. Anyone of note? Well, one of them is a niece of the governor of Festina. I remember the man, Baram al Kumrat, one of Marwan's lapdogs. I hope his niece is brighter than him, at least. I'll question her. Is this the niece? Yes. She wore a key around her neck, with a crow engraved upon it. But she won't tell us what it opens. Thumbscrews? No, I don't like the screaming. There are more refined methods to make people talk. If she's frightened, we'll threaten her. If she's naive, we'll lie. If she's neither, we'll make her an offer. Tell me who you are. Rashida Ben Yali, niece of Baram al Kumrat. The man who will destroy you when he learns of this farce. She has a certain eloquence. A true poetess. Maybe you can help us. Well, maybe. Does my spit on your mask help you? She's not afraid. Neither is she wise. So your uncle will save you. He will, and he'll quarter you. Yes. Problem is, he's dead. What? We raided his country estate two days ago. That... you're lying. Bring the pike with Uncle Baram's head. No, 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 please, I'll talk. A, a few days ago, we stormed a hideout of the Crows. The Crows? The sect of assassins? The first Kyrios fears an attempt on his life. This key opens the cells of the murderers. I was supposed to bring it to Lorphus. So much for that. Shall we hang the prisoners? What for? As an example to all enemies of the Silver Spider. To let them go would be a risk. But we also cannot drag them along with us. No. Are you sure, Sahiba? It's hard to be sure about anything. But if you doubt me once more, you'll be the first to hang. And from now on, never take more prisoners than we can carry. It seems you never sleep either. I sleep sitting down. The dwarf is disappointing. I had hoped for more. You must unleash his anger. I remember when Nayam died. Nayam? She fought at our side against the Nine Hordes. I remember. The Laos Queen beat her to a pulp. The crowd cheered, but Norim was furious. 
Even I would have avoided a duel with him then. Has your friend always been such a mess? Yeah. But at least he's calmed down now. He should get married and find his inner peace. Not gonna happen with those bags under his eyes, though. How may I serve you, mistress? What do you think of Faramud? If I could read thoughts, I'd skip his. Why me? Again? I? Oh, this keeps going around. There has to be something. Otherwise... Do you pray often, Sahiba? Not anymore. The gods who made us must have been beasts. I won't pray to beasts. The Silent Legion marched without a sound. No word, no song ever passed their lips. An intangible dread emanated from this silence. But Cassia liked it. Nothing disturbed her plotting. Oh, by Angros's beard, what are we doing here? Why do we even need this backwater town? It's on our way, and I want it. On the way to Wur. Mengbilla lies to the west. Let the fishermen go. The fight is over. They will not talk. Faramut has ordered a bloodbath. And I order them to stop. The Silent Legion never refuses an order from their leader. The Manticore wants to read in the blood of our enemies. There's already enough blood for an epic. Sheathe your weapons. The following day, no one saw Cassia without her mask. She did not say a single word. No one could tell what she was thinking. But everyone could tell that her thoughts utterly consumed her. My mercenaries say you carry a message from Marwan, blind man. Yes, Kyria. I am blind too sometimes. At night, my eyes disappear. I also lost my face. But yours seems familiar. I once sculpted you, many years ago. Gilman. Gilman the sculptor. You were a friend. Weren't we friends? <laughs> I hope so, yes. When did you become blind? The first Kyrios gave my eyes to the creator Shinna. He was dissatisfied with my design for his Colossus. Too fat. Too small. So, what does Marwan want? I'm here to reassure you that Mirai is fine. Mirai? Your sister. Mirai. You forgot about her. No. Never. Where is she? Marwan has given her to the mother of dreams. Niobe. What does Niobe want with my sister? I do not know. What Niobe is infamous for? Experiments. Human experiments. Alchemist witch stuff. Magic. Poisons. Fetuses in glass jars. Things like that. Actually, actually she did give Mirai some potion. What kind of potion? I have no idea. We leave immediately. Slow down. Shouldn't we discuss this, mistress? Yes, don't lose your path, Sahiba. She is my sister. We depart right away. Even a dwarf has to want something other than gold. Yes, girl with the mask. We also want beer and a roof over our heads. Because we're all the same, us dwarves. I think you want to go home. Right, I'm so terribly homesick. Thank you so much for reminding me. Now, let me eat. Why was Norim cast out? Do you know anything about it? Promise me you'll never bring this up. If you talk to him about it, I won't be held responsible. I promise. Norim wasn't cast out. He cast himself out. Ashamed that he didn't pass his baptism of fire. Baptism of fire? Some ridiculous ritual for dwarves coming of age. They have to walk through fire or some such nonsense. I thought Norim liked fire. Oh, he's obsessed with it. Now you know why. Catching flies again? Of what use are these creatures? They don't want anything, they don't produce anything. Why were they created, I wonder? After some time, they taste quite nice. We've been marching for a long time. Don't forget your promise. Was your magician friend always so lethargic? Kamaluk's son will tell you something. Zorbaran was once the first to rise every morning. I asked what he was doing. He said, I am meditating on the primordial sources of power. And now I have to rouse him at least three times before he finally gets up. 
Don't rouse him. Rouse his lust for power. How is it my fault the gods created humans as mortals? They shouldn't get in my way. No, no. I cannot make it so easy. For the first time in years, Cassia was afraid. But not for her sister. She was afraid because she could not remember Mirai's face. Somewhere inside her was a dark hole. And she could feel it growing. Marwan! Cassia! Look at you. So it's true. A spirit. An illusion. I long to embrace you, my love. No matter. I'll be with you soon. I understand your anger. And yes, I do feel a tiny sting. It may be guilt. Or perhaps just the bittersweet loneliness of a triumphant man. Because in my heart, I feel you don't want to kill me, Cassia. Look out! Do you know what a blood potion is? Mirai knows. Don't you, Mirai? Lovely dumb thing. I understand why she's so dear to you. Anyway, if I die, she'll die with me. Not if you die first. Mm, I think she will, my dear. A blood potion. Brilliant creation of my dear friend Niobe. Well, don't ask me about the details. The effect is simple. The potion binds the life of one being to the life of another. Mirai savored my blood. Didn't you, Mirai? If I die, your sister dies. Therefore, dear Cassia, you won't kill me. And your ludicrous revolt is finished. Never. Oh, I disagree. Open the windows! Mirai, it's me! <laughs> she is afraid of you. It's me! Come now, we have to get out of here. If Marwan dies, Mirai dies. Cassia was unsure of the precise implications, but she knew this would change everything, and that knowledge unsettled her. Mirai. So, your sister is mute. And stubborn. Mirai, don't you want to come to me? You've got to give her time. She's... she's afraid. Mirai. Mistress, the melodies the creators use to control their creatures what about it? It could be useful to know them, don't you think? Why kill all the beasts if you could control them? We're too few to attack Marwan in Mingbilla, but with the melodies. No trace of Marwan, Sahiba. But we found the Mother of Dreams. Nyabi, I want to talk to her. Me too. I want to know where my gold is. What happened? Punishment for a broken oath. Why? Because of the fishermen? for disobeying my order. This is absurd. I gave the order to let the fishermen go. Those who break the oath forfeit their life. Even if our heart bleeds, we have to follow the oath. They didn't want it any other way. None of them protested. Yes, because they're forbidden to talk. I'm meditating. You said the melodies of the creators could help us. As far as I know, there are five of them, each with a different power. Four of them are kept by the creators. The fifth and most powerful one is kept under lock and key by Marwan. That's how he controls the great petrifier. When lowly soldiers can use the instruments, we can too. Tell me about the Nine Hordes. Well, what's to tell? We won the end. What about your companion, the Half-Elf, Nyam? Oh, stop twisting the knife, will you? There's nothing to tell. She died and I killed everyone who had a part in it. Nyam was like family to you, was she not? Well, she was away with the fairies most of the time, but... Do we have to talk about Nyam? No. We only have to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. We must stick together. Like family. Flies, midges, midges, flies. Who discerns between these animals? I wonder. The world is porous, and from the holes rise uncertainty. Why is this stone a house, and this one a street? The world is badly catalogued. Getting up, sleeping, getting up, sleeping, getting up, sleeping. No sense. Makes no sense. The little screeching voice always bawling. Hunger! Hunger! Could swaddle it in conviction. Doesn't matter. 
The monster won't stop bawling. We've been marching for a long time. Don't forget your promise. Honestly, do you think we will win? No. But Takate will find a legendary death. Like Hayate Bay, when he hunted the Yakai. Looks like time finally caught up with you. Don't your tinctures help anymore? Cassia? So, you two know each other? Niobe and I are old friends. Sisters, almost. What? Does my face unsettle you? What have you become? Become? I'm still the same. Iron doesn't bend so easily. You won't kill me just like that. No, I won't. First I have to know things. Secrets. Secrets grow from the mud like worms. Worms carry on living when cut in half. Did you know that? I wonder whether they have two souls then. What do you think? Cassia, I never wanted for you to come to harm. If you want to get revenge on Marwen, this is not about revenge. Why are you staring at me? Your face. It was the Karapia venom, wasn't it? You know what they say about the venom of the Karapia? Madness or death, and you're alive. And same. So you're dying. You will cure me? Of the Karapia venom. Karapias are sacred. There's no cure. Tell me what you need. Do you think I'm lying? I'd be glad to have something I could barter with. There is no cure. You poisoned my sister. What are you talking about? The blood potion. I haven't given it to anyone. I brewed the potion for Marwen. That was all. Give me the remedy. I've never made one. Then you better start right now. What, right now? Without a laboratory? You have such a pretty head, Niobe. It would be a shame for you to lose it. You could share with me the secrets of the creators. Do you know how I got this face? Karapias are beautiful creatures. I keep one as a pet. Do you want to see? Do you want to touch it? No, Cassia, not this. Not my face. Beauty is a cage. I could free you from it. All right. What do you want to hear? Everything. Marwan. He wanted me to warn the druid about you in case you got away. The creator? Yes. If you attack him, he's to lure you into his fortress. But I know of a secret entrance. If some of your fighters could sneak up to the archers on the battlement, you could turn the fight around. But be careful. The druid can read your thoughts. Where's my gold, you scrawny witch? Your gold? My gold, the gold your men stole from me. That you stole from me? You and your lecherous al Anfan friend. Although I'm not sure he'll still call you a friend when he finds out you sold him. <gasps> sold? <laughs> me? Him? That is ridiculous. She's lying. It's, that's a pathetic shot. Pathetic. I would never, never, Zerberan. Pathetic. That's a, that's a, that's a very bad lie, that, that's what that is. It's that's very flimsy. Indeed. Cassia, wait! All of this! What are you doing? What do you want? To rule. But why? There is no why. There is only the urge. We grow upwards like plants, stealing the light from other plants. Do you think Marwen had any sound reasons to conquer Mengbilla? And do you think anyone loves Marwen? You have a remedy to find. Having been destroyed by Marwan's troops, the fortress of Barankau now served as a quarry for the creators. As a stronghold, it was of little use to Cassia, but she hoped to at least find some useful equipment. The drawbridges are up. Shall we storm them? No. I know Barankal. There's a secret path down to the river. We'll scout ahead. If we need your help, we'll lower the drawbridges, and then you'll storm them. The next day, several carts of machinery and firewood were brought to the mercenary camp, and the camp grew. The Silver Spider ordered Faramud to defend the conquered land. The Manticore followed, and the Legion, as always, followed the Manticore. As the dust settled, the banner of the Silver Corapia still flew above the gates. You've got yoke in your beard. At least I don't need a mask. What do you think? Did I choose the right ally? Who? Faramud? Well, he's still pretty young. Ah, oh, he'll grow. Just give him a few years. 
Your dwarven friend doesn't seem to like me very much. Oh, don't worry. Deep down inside his heart, Norim is just looking for a family. He misses his clan, and this hole in his heart has to be filled with gold. Must be one hell of a hole. Where do the signs lead us today? The Great Moor opens. We are on the right path, Sahiba, but Kor wishes for more blood. Our god loves simple patterns. More signs, more blood. More blood, more bloody signs. What do you think of Faramud? A good man, but he talks too much. Are you crying? Go away! I won't hurt you. I just have to keep up appearances. Are you trying to convince yourself that you're doing the right thing? Cassia, why? Why do you want to rule? You of all people. There is no why. Either we grow up to the light or we wither. Cassia, no one can rule without an agenda. I can. Then take a closer look at what Marwan did to this land. You've been trading with the Creators. How did the Creators breed so many beasts? Even if I knew, you'd be the last one I'd tell. Why do the Creators stay loyal to Marwan? They're far more powerful than he'll ever be. Not everyone is like you. The Creators want freedom. Marwan provides it. We saw one of the beasts tamed by a melody. The creatures are obedient to those who made them, but not to Marwan's servants. And so every creature obeys a certain melody, like a dog with a whistle. Still, the spell will only work when the creature is inside a banishing circle. Every creator controls their own creatures. Who is the master of each beast? The druid breeds plant creatures. Adamant the Shaper creates creatures made of sand. Ticketers the Silent creates his monsters out of corpses and bones. Shinner al Shinner hatches insects. The last melody controls the Petrifier. Marwan himself guards it in his palace. Cassia, listen! You must never play all the melodies at once! Why not? You would trigger the same catastrophe that Marwan unleashed during his attack on Mengbilla. A storm of chimeras with thousands of victims! In the middle of the Valley of Pristina rose a single mountain. It was here that the most eccentric of the creators had made his home. The people called him the Druid, as he could bend nature to his will. According to Niobe, there will be archers waiting for us on the battlements. Sounds like a task for the son of a god. I will throw them down at your feet. Cassia had the house searched and plundered but neither the Creator nor his melody of creation could be found. And so, together with her closest allies, she went through the dimensional portal. This is impressive. Impressive? This is a terrible place. We should... Silence! When Los, the Orgon, stood above slain Sumo, he regretted what he had done. Tears fell down on Sumo's body, and the Orgon knew... The old god forgot, forgot everything. You must not be here. This is a sacred place. And now it belongs to me, just like everything else. She took the melody of the creator and sealed the magic grove. The druid was dragged into the camp and put into a cage. What if those signs aren't even from Kor? What if a demon is sending them? Do not doubt, Sahiba. Doubt drags us into the abyss. Your famous charm wasn't enough to win over Niobe. A heart of stone will be a heart of stone. Niobe has sent away every suitor she ever had. I was only one pretty face in a long line. This Faramud. I liked him at first, but uh, something's wrong with him. What exactly? Trapping mosquitoes in a glass? Or reading the future from the blood of dismembered enemies? I can't put my finger on it, but... Something's rotten. I can smell it. And why do you want to die? I don't. Then why start this war? Does the wind need a reason to blow? Everything drifts below the bowl of stars. Rise or fall, there is no reason. Then let me give you one. Fight so your name won't be forgotten. Only then will you be immortal. Does my face unsettle you? I shudder. Will you kill me? Go on. I'll leave my work behind. You mean your monsters? The monster is you. 
I create art. Art rules over nature, I can agree to that, but artworks that lay ruin to a whole stretch of land. Do they? We created melodies to tame our beasts. Who tames yours? Tell me about the melodies. When our creations fell on Mangbilla, they took the lives of thousands. No one could control what we had unleashed, not even Namaka, our master. When she tried, she was petrified by her own creature. Our melodies are but chains, protecting us from our curiosity. I have questions. And I will not answer. When I rule, the palace gardens will be yours. All the trees, all the plants, the rare ones as well as the forbidden ones. You can dig down into the depths of the earth, but you'll have to help me first. The first Kyrios has always forbidden me to enter his gardens. You're more interesting than I thought. Very well. I have some advice for you. If you are serious about this campaign. You'll have to deal with Shinna's insects. The mother of the swarm breeds them in the great hatchery of Kokinli. I sometimes deliver animated wood to that place. Let me live, and I'll show you a secret passage into the mountain. You have my word. Let him go. I thank you. You remember my slave, Zerberan? I wish I could say I didn't. I hate men who preen themselves like peacocks. A stupid haircut, for starters. He's a decent man. Is that good or bad for you? What could be bad about that? Be nice to him. <laughs>